All right, it's another week, and you know what that means. Here on Bracket Up, we've got a brand new episode for everybody. Today, we're looking at the best dad joke. We came up with 32, and that was an accident, totally an accident. I'm sorry. We meant to do 33 or 31, but we went with 32 today of the best, corniest, goofiest, most lovable dad jokes anyone could ever think of. We're going to run them through a bracket and figure out which one is the best of all time. So I will introduce the other participants and then we will get started. It's a short group today, which is which is nice sometimes. So first off is Andy Mysek, the man with the best name in the whole wide world. I see you're rocking a Blackhawks jersey today. Are they playing today? Yeah, uh, season started 0-2, outscored 10-3. to What a team they've got. Well, that's what happens when you face the defending champs, right? Back to back and boy, did they look terrible. That's- Boy, great news for this shortened season. Every game matters, boys, every game. Uh, next to Andy is Billy White Shoes Johnson. It's good to see Bill again. How are you doing today, man? I'm good. That's good to hear. <laughs> he is our resident dad and I think our expert in this topic today. We will yeah. hear from Bill a lot. And next to Bill, as usual, is uh, the Giggle King himself, Mr. Julian Griffin. How are you doing today, Julian? Also, I got to give credit to uh, Marta, my girlfriend. She was the one who gave me this idea to put up. So I'm going to give shouts out to her. Awesome. Yes. Props to Marta. Shout out Marta. Of course. Friend and fam and uh, occasional guest host and tiebreaker. She's (laughs) a quadruple threat. (laughs) All right. So our very first matchup. And man, this bracket looks so nice without 25 play-in rounds. Really? See, I I love Maybe we should consider doing this more. (laughs) Nope disagree immensely Uh-oh. all right our very first uh do you need my help reading these no i actually i have the i'm not on full screen so i have it oh. on my other screen as well so here's a kid dad can me and my friends have a sleepover and then the dad says yeah you can they can sleep over at their house <laughs> <laughs> okay. a classic Actually, the next one is a real classic. Orange, you glad I didn't say banana. That's a knock-knock joke. It is, without the mm-hmm. setup. Yeah. yeah no. I just... mean, I'm not, I, I wasn't going to write knock-knock three times <laughs> before the punchline. Oh, Y'all yeah, get it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, kind of, I like the first one more. Oh, like yeah. That's definitely something a dad there. Would say. I think that's more of a dad joke. It has the inner dadness <laughs> to it where there's like a low simmering anger just below the surface. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, this is the kind of thing where our resident dad, Bill, I could see him saying it too. <laughs> His daughter's yeah. like, can I, can I have friends sleep over? He's like, yeah, at their own house. Yeah, Slams the door. Over their house. <laughs> Sit, sits in his library and sips some scotch. That's possible. Uh, the other one, I feel like that's a joke for... It is a dad joke. It's, I mean, it's, it's, the, it's the definition of a dad joke, but it's not a good one. Like anyone could do that joke. You don't have to be a dad. I feel like to... that's more, more little kids say. Because I heard that joke a lot when I was like, oh, like yeah. the first, second oh, see, grade. I got it from my dad. <laughs> see, that's a joke. That's a dad joke that kids love too much. I think a real good dad yeah. joke has to have a layer of in, in like, you can't understand it quite as a kid. It just goes slightly <laughs> over your head. It's like, I'll give you something to cry about. Like that sinister, like resentment. <laughs> yeah, there's a cynicism to a good dad joke. <laughs> yeah, there is. There's a bit of a cynicism. Exactly. I say so, this I mean, is a I think, sweep here, eh? I'm gonna I feel like dads who say person. that are like really like, they're just, they don't feel appreciated. Like their kids like, dad, what'd you get me for Christmas? I got you the bills. I got you that food. I got you that <laughs> shirt. I got you a bed. I got you a roof over your head. Merry Christmas. <laughs> That should have been on the list. It's not it even a joke. It's just an angry statement from a dad. It's just an angry, <laughs> underappreciated dad. It's like, what'd you get for Christmas? I got you dinner. God. That would have been a nice playing around right there. All right. Uh, matchup number two. If you can't tell, I just love bad puns. That's just how I rolls. 
the eye roll. It got what it was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Bill. He's rubbing his temple in shape. That's the sign this of a good dad joke. That's what you signed up for, Bill. All right, that one is going up against what's brown and sticky? A stick. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Another good lane of dad jokes is toilet poop humor. Because you think it's going to be poo. It's always yeah. poop, humor, poop humor is always funny. That's, that's everybody. True. Fart jokes that's and poop a, that's jokes a good are point. always funny. Yeah. Let's see. I think a good dad joke has to make someone cringe. And I watched Julian when, when Jarek read that first one and he was smiling and all of a sudden the smile went away and he's like, <laughs> that's a good dad joke honestly i'm gonna vote for if you can't tell i just love that's it's just how yeah. i rolls <laughs> and uh, then everyone else around them just feels like they lost a year of their life <laughs> you know, god <laughs> the year well uh i'm voting for the brown and sticky one because i don't want to lose any more of my life reading that joke. <laughs> i i gotta vote for the rolls one too I'm going rolls. I loved brown and sticky, but when I heard yeah. Jarek read the eye rolls, oh god! Oh, I appreciate Jarek. I appreciate the delivery that you're giving. Like that's a that's a thousand percent. It's <laughs> it's you real. So you're ready for fatherhood. <laughs> you really are. <laughs> that's oh, all it takes. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, my now. audition is going well so far. Uh, third third matchup. Do I enjoy courthouse puns? Guilty. <laughs> that's a high brow that was a joke. good one that's a good joke i like that a lot i like that one all right that one is going up against what do you get when you cross the titanic with the ocean halfway <laughs> oh, that's a joke about death mass death. <laughs> Is that a dad uh, are, joke, or is that dark. something that's Dominic dark. would say? It's <laughs> pretty dark. Oh, oh, God! I love I that vote Titanic. For the guilty one. The guilty one got me. That was funny. Yeah, that was pretty great. <laughs> that was awesome. Um, fortunately, I could see by the baby monitor. My little angel is awake. So I will have to bid adieu. So uh, good luck, uh, fellow dads. Well, you're the only dad here. You're the only dad. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you probably, you'll probably, you'll just get like, you, you know, condoms only work so many times. <laughs> oh, that Wait, are you implying that you reuse? <laughs> you just put you one on top of the, the one you used before and you just yeah. kind of. It, and you never take it off. It doubles every time you add a new one. Like, mm -hmm. that's the safety, yeah. I thought this was about wholesome dad jokes. Let's cut <laughs> off, like, this last 20, 30 seconds, and I'll see you guys later. See ya. Right, see ya, Bill. Uh, I'm going guilty. Well, I was going to go with the Titanic one, so you might as well make it three to one for three people. Well, look, the, the Titanic one is a good joke, but it is, it's not a good dad joke. Yeah, the Titanic one is dark. dark. It's a little too dark to be a dad joke. As someone who's not a dad, I guess if I become a dad, I'll have to knock those dark humor ones out of my system real quick. I was a big fan of it, but. <sighs> All right, uh, matchup number four. What did the white bread say to the wheat bread when he told him a rumor? For real, though? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy uh, and then uh next up is someone saying i'll be right back and the dad says i'll be left front car humor seating humor it's it's great oh, that's like a groaner. i died inside a little that's a real groaner oh I hate it <laughs> i really hate it oh uh, this is a chance I have to redeem myself by going with the white bread uh, no dough joke. That's that's real pun yeah, material. I'm going bread joke. I'll go with I'll be. 
I'll, I'll be left front. Oh, that's so dad. It's so dad. It's so dad. It's not it's, Raven. It's, it's like dad. the hungry joke. <laughs> so I'm so hungry. So Hi, Mister Hungry. Dad. Can I call you so? <laughs> Fuck me. No. <laughs> no that's on that. here. I can't wait to. I'm already not oh. voting it. <laughs> All right, next matchup. What time did the man go to the dentist? 2.30. <laughs> That's an all-timer. Uh, and then the next one, it takes guts to be an o- organ donor. I almost said organ donor. Sorry. Even better. Oh, God. I'm going to go organ donor because that one actually got me. I, I like that one, too. I hadn't heard that I one. I like before. that one. I'll do organ donor. It's it's just that that enough enough pun and stupid for me. All right, next matchup. What did the drummer name his two daughters? Anna one, Anna two. <laughs> <laughs> I like that a lot. <laughs> oh God, it's going up against a, a, a powerhouse. How do you steal a coat? You jack it. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> shit. That's a tough one. This is our toughest one so far. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna go with mm, because I, I'm gonna go and a one and a two because I really really like that one a lot. But I the, think I'm leaning that way. I like it being a, a little more complex. <laughs> and when I first saw it in our. Um, or like our master list. I, I didn't get it for a second. I was looking for something a little more obvious and I'm glad I missed it. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't get one. it either until you read it. Oh, yeah. Like, Super. oh my God. I'm going with Anna one, Anna two. But the jacket one was funny. That's a good that, one. That was a good one. <laughs> How do you steal a coat? You jacket. <laughs> womp womp. Uh, Jared, did you sweep? Oh yeah, sorry. And a one and a two moves on. <clears throat> All right. Another matchup. How do you tame a unique animal? The tame way you neek up on it. Oh, that, that's that's two. Two puns in one joke. <laughs> okay, I have to admit, like, I put those both in there because there's one before it, and one was supposed to go, uh, how do you catch a unique animal unique up on it oh shit yeah so that kind of took a uh, took a little bit of the power out of it well shit i'm sorry but now we got it we we get the joke (laughs) well we yeah we understand it um and it's going up against i have a great joke about construction but i'm still working on it (laughs) i just saw it break julian a little (laughs) He just went from happy to sad in a moment. <laughs> Contemplating life's choices. The Giggle King does not approve. <laughs> for that one. Mm-mm. Yay. Kill that jester. He said he's working on it. Just lazy. <laughs> I feel like just lazy writing. <laughs> I'll go with the unique animal. Yeah, unique animal here as well. Sweet, unique animal. <laughs> I didn't think Julian would be voting for the construction one. No. <laughs> All right, next up is an all-timer. What concert costs 45 cents? Well, it's 50 cent featuring Nickelback. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to give you that. I, didn't, I genuinely didn't want to give you that, but then Nickelback got me. And that's going up against another what do you classic. Call, yeah. What do you call a fake noodle? An impasta. <laughs> I just like watching Julian react. All the glasses are off. <laughs> the head is the rolling in different directions. He's not even rolling his eyes, he's rolling his head. <laughs> I think Julian, you've become the de facto dad of this group. <laughs> Uh, no, he's the he's the kid in this group who's just like, shut up, dad. <laughs> I understand the kids, man. I understand. Oh, I'm going with 50 Cent Nickelback. 50 Cent Nickelback is way, way funnier. I'll go with the imposter one. 
like both, that. Both classics. Both I've heard many times in the past. All right. Next up. Oh, our two seed. Oh, man. Can February, March? No. But April, May. Hate it. Why am I laughing? <laughs> Like that. Uh, that one is going up against uh, kid. Hey, dad, can I have a raise on my five dollar allowance? Dad, yeah, you can take your five dollars, lay it out in the sun, and get some raise. <laughs> <laughs> this is basically a dad like, hey, kid, fuck you. <laughs> Welcome to the cruel reality of life. I'm giving you dinner. I'm giving you a roof over your head, clothes to wear, <laughs> school supplies. I stopped beating you. <laughs> Stop. Be- God. I stopped <laughs> beating you. What, do you, what more? Merry do you Christmas. Want? I didn't hit you today. <laughs> oh my God. I'm kind of like whoever this imaginary dad that we come up with like hates his kids, hates his life, and beats his children. Like, hey, I didn't beat you today for your birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. I like how every episode there's like some persona we come up with. <laughs> Today's the abusive dad. We need to have a bracket, another bracket idea. Best best podcast persona we've come up with. <laughs> I feel like Waffalo Bill might win. <laughs> <laughs> Although that serial episode was full of people, like just projecting personas. <laughs> Uh, speaking of which, I like, I want to move abusive dad forward, so I'm going with get abusive some rain. <laughs> you, you can do that. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm going with the February, March one. I'm going February, March. See, Thank I don't you. get, the, I don't get the, the, the joke of that. It's all a punchline. What's the setup? Hey, can I get a raise on my allowance? <laughs> yeah, you can take your five dollars and go out Oh no, my camera fell. <laughs> All right. Uh, next matchup. When does a joke become a dad joke? When it becomes a parent. Woo. <laughs> Julian's right. <laughs> Julian's not into the puns I'm learning. <laughs> and I like this next one a lot. Dad. Dad. Oh, no. This is from a kid. Dad, can you put my shoes on? Dad. No, I don't think they'll fit me. <laughs> You twist the little okay. fucker's words against him. Uh, <laughs> and then that's when he takes a hearty swing. <laughs> You've been through, reading from Abusive Dad's book, <laughs> Parenting 101. <laughs> when your child asks for help, deny it. <laughs> uh, you I'm know who I'm voting for. <laughs> Dad, can you put my <laughs> shoes on? I'm going with that one. Yeah, I like that one a lot, actually. All right, the shoes move on. The angry dad moves on. <laughs> yeah. uh, next up, well, of course, it's when you point to their shirt, ask them what that stain is, and then you flick their nose when they look down. And you say, "Got him." It's a. It's. I appreciate it as very much dadism, but it's it's not funny if you if you tell it. Yeah, you got to see it in action. You have to see it. Unfortunately, we can't be next to each other at the moment. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be flicking some noses. Absolutely. Um, that one's going up against, well, how do you pick up a porcupine? Very carefully. <laughs> this is a late entry from Bill as we were putting together the bracket. So, I'm voting on that one just off because Bill put it in there. I, I am as well. I like it a lot, yeah. Murray likes it too. What do you want, dog? Flick, flick that nose. No, she might bite him. I flicked it and she got closer to me. Oh, God. Did you tell her that you voted for Biden yet? What's up? Did you tell her that you voted for Biden yet? She knows. (laughs) She's not happy. (laughs) All right, Mary, down. Go back up. Jesus. Yeah, she wasn't happy. She pulled my headphones off. (laughs) All right, Mary, go back out. All right, matchup number 12, uh, one straight out of Jurassic Park. What do you call a blind dinosaur? Uh, do you think he saw us? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you like that one. I love it. 
and then it's going up against a kid saying, ah, I'm hungry. And the dad says, hi, hungry. I'm dad. See, I like, I like the, the other version of it where the kid's like, oh, I'm so hungry. And the dad's like, hi, Mr. Hungry. May I call you so? <laughs> that one's better. <laughs> that one's better. Uh, I'm going to like dinosaur. Jurassic Park is moving on. See, I'm going to vote for the I'm hungry, I'm dad joke because, oh, it speaks to me. In fact, that was on an episode of Robot Chicken, and the response to it was perfect. The child punched the dad in the face. <laughs> so this is now abusive son. <laughs> uh, I'm believing that's 2-1 for mm-hmm. Jurassic Park. Yep. Boo. All right. Next match of lucky number 13. I hate when people say age is a number. It's clearly a word. <laughs> Uh, and that's going up against you know i heard waldo from where's waldo had to go to therapy he really needed to find himself (laughs) (laughs) two groaners in one bracket oh oh i didn't like either of them too much Uh, i the waldo one is very very specific it's too wordy See that I hate that people say age is a number. It's clearly a word. It's short. It's sweet. It's to the point, and I give it my point. Well, there's <clears> two <throat> sentences. That's not much worse. But it's it's so much of a setup. I mean, it's double the length. I Could see be two you sentences. Mean. You got to put a whole lot more effort into saying the, the setup. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you know, Waldo from Where's Waldo? Yeah, he's in therapy. Yeah, he he just need to find himself. Where it's like age is a number. Age is not a number it's a word (laughs) then again like you know even though it is a specific joke the where's waldo joke you do kind of follow like you follow along if you deliver it right yeah but it's hard but here's the the question do kids these days do where's waldo do they know what where's waldo is that's what makes the dad joke though yeah but i barely i'm the age of a father and i barely know like did a where's waldo as a kid but you're aware of it. Yeah. But it, yeah, you know the premise of it. But it's not as funny either. It's like, ah, okay. he had to find himself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Party B. Hey, chill out. <laughs> oh, Kurt. Uh, I'm still going with the Waldo one. I'm going to go with what I hate when people say age is a number. Very good. All right. Age moves on. Next matchup. What did the grape say when he gets stepped on? Nothing. He just let out a little wine. <laughs> and then why is six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. <laughs> An all time classic. If you haven't heard it, you're living under a rock. Or you have a dad who hates you, beats you, <laughs> beats doesn't give you allowance. <laughs> You got two dads. You got the seven, eight, nine dad, and you got the dad who just wallops on you. And then your Christmas gift is he doesn't wallop on you. Merry Christmas, a day, a beat free day. A beat free day. <laughs> Farmers say the same thing all the time. Uh, um, product masturbators say the same thing. <laughs> I. <laughs> I have not heard the grape joke before, and I kind of like it. I like it as well. I'm going to vote for it. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And I know Julian ain't a fan of that 789, so I'm assuming this is a sweep. (laughs) Hell no. Why is six afraid of seven? 789. I just want I gotta, to kick that person in the shin. I could just see this being like a really fat, like Jolly Gat sitting on the couch. Like, oh, 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 I told how funny. I'd be like, you're diabetic. <laughs> Stop eating that cake. <laughs> oh, shut up, son. <laughs> gobble, gobble, gobble. All right. Almost done with our, our, first, uh, our first round here. Our next matchup pits. Dad, I've been having a lot of dreams about Tom Jones lately. Is that normal? Well, it's not unusual. Oh, God. Uh, and that one's up against, I'm on a seafood diet. I see food and I eat it. I relate to this, Dad. 
I relate to this dad a lot. Seafood dad. I like, I like the Tom Jones one. I'm voting for that. I'm Tom sorry. Jones is too complicated. I'm glad you're sticking to your guns, but uh, I'm sticking to mine. Similar to the Where's Waldo one. You gotta know who Tom Jones is. Yawn. <laughs> Meh, you can try and vote it out next round. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see what it's up against. All right, well, <laughs> it's either don't trust Adams. They make up everything. <laughs> Science. Oh, that was good. That was a good one. Or why do melons have weddings? Because they can't elope. <laughs> ah, puns. I love a good dad pun. I don't like cantaloupe. Really? No. Man, what kind of melons do you like? I like uh, honeydew melons are good. Everybody loves watermelon. You don't watermelon like... just <laughs> it's bland. Man, I think cantaloupe's better than honeydew. I, I think, think honeydew's way better than cantaloupe. I think I like cantaloupe more than. Uh, I guess bracket idea best melon. <laughs> oh boy, that could that could get dirty eventually. <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> Look, if we're, we're doing best, I thought you were going to say it's going to get fruity or something like that. I don't know. Ha! <laughs> ah, that would have been good for this <laughs> this bracket. <laughs> Uh, well, the obvious answer is, uh, oh, actually, there isn't one. Uh, <laughs> there is an obvious answer. God, such, such. I'm going to go with Adams because Adams was funnier. Oh, shit. That's a good argument. Uh, <laughs> see? I, you know, I'm, I'm going to go with the melons and cantaloupe one. All right. What's, They're both good. What's better the for a dad joke? The deeper groan or the deeper like, yeah, I, I'm 30 and over laugh. <laughs> How about the Adam? Mm-hmm. Right, the Adam's one. Okay. All right, Adam's <clears throat> moves on. We've it allows a, me to. Got ourselves a sweet 16 here. All right, round two, all the way up at the top. Oh, wait, hold on. There we go. My screen's taking a million minutes to load. And we've got, all right, can me and my friends have the sleepover? Yeah, they can sleep over at their house. <laughs> this was the beginning of angry, abusive dad. <laughs> uh, again, if you can't tell, I love bad puns. That's just how I rolled. There's no abuse in there. Oh, I, I love puns and I love abusive dad in, in our persona Carl, here. Call the abusive dad. No, Carl would be the, the eye roll guy. Just like, oh, look at Carl over there. Like, <laughs> and then like abusive dad would be like a Chuck. Yeah, Chuck. Who's Chuck? Chuck the abusive, abusive dad. dad. I don't know. Just, oh, I'm just throwing yeah, out a, a harsher now. sounding name. When you said Carl, I thought you were talking about the guy from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Oh. I thought Chuck was But now that changes my idea of the word that name Carl. now. Maybe Carl is the abusive dad and, and the like the jolly tubby pun loving dad could be like a like Barry. a Seymour. Barry. <laughs> ba- Barry. Like whoa. whoa, whoa. <laughs> I love him. Good old bear. <laughs> Look at Bear over there. He's making everyone's eyes roll. And he's just in there like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a knee slapper, eh? And his son's just staring at him with an EpiPen and, a, and, and, and an insulin shot, right? <laughs> his son's got the EpiPen at the ready. Any moment, Dad's going to lap himself into a fucking cardiac arrest. Oh, oh thank goodness we live in Canada, eh? Oh, oh socialized medicine, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, you got, you got Canada Dad versus good old angry, abusive American Dad. <laughs> Get your guns ready, son. <laughs> Lives in New Jersey and shit. I don't know. <laughs> no, lives in Nebraska. <laughs> like farmer dads. No yeah, exactly. That's why. I, that's why I'd imagine be like, you can't have your kids sleep here. I'm cleaning. No, I'm polishing that would be the like, guns Dad, tonight. <laughs> Dad, can we have a sleepover? What friends do you have? We live in the middle of nowhere. We're in Nebraska. Oh, I was playing World of Warcraft farmer with them down when they the flew in. <laughs> No, oh no, they say down the road a piece. Tonight. No, he's from Bridgeview. Carl is from Bridgeview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen a thing or two. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, Jesus Christ. I'm definitely going with the first one. Angry abusive. Yeah, day. me too. Uh, then I'll give I'll give a uh, good old Barry a. Uh, uh, I'll give him a knee slap. Like, oh, that's a good one, Barry. <laughs> Don't worry, I got the EpiPen in case you in case you have a problem. <laughs> hey, sorry you had to get your foot removed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> told you about that. Uh, told you about that couscous. I don't know. <laughs> couscous. That's good. <laughs> I don't know. I love couscous, I was... and it's good for you to a degree. All right. Next up, uh, do I enjoy courthouse puns? Guilty. Oh, Barry. <laughs> Against what did the white bread say to the wheat bread when you told him a rumor? For real, though? Barry, you're losing me a little there. I'm definitely going courthouse. Yo, the courthouse <laughs> joke was hilarious. That courthouse joke is almost too funny to be a it's dead joke. It's really funny. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> Guilty for voting for courthouses. <clears throat> right, courthouse moves on easily. Next up, it takes guts to be an organ donor. And I almost fucking did it again. Ogan Dorner. <laughs> against, oh, what did the drummer name his two daughters? Anna one, Anna two. Uh, drummer. See, there, drummer needs to, there. there needs to be a third dad now. There's, the, there's Barry over here who's got the, the puns. There's uh, Carl, the abuser. And then who, who's the dad who's actually telling jokes with a setup and a punchline? <laughs> Andy Jarek. <laughs> Andy Jarek's over here like a one and a two. And everyone's like, oh. <laughs> Bravo, sir. He's, he's in peak. Bellissimo. He's I in see peak this in dad your future form. dad, Jarek. I see this in your future. You're probably going to deliver the best jokes all the time. I hope so. Yeah. I, hope so. I, have I faith mean, in you. I love the organ donor one, but Hannah one and, and two. two is layered. Yeah, that's a good one. Clean sweep for drummer dad. And then, all right, how do you tame a unique animal the tame way you kneek up on it? Or what concert costs 45 cents, 50 cent featuring Nickelback? Got my vote. Yeah, I, I think this one's an easy one for a 50 cent Nickelback for me, too. Agreed. <laughs> Nickelback. See, that's, that's the Jarek punchline and setup, or setup and punchline. Mm. So it, it's an actual joke. It's not just a pun or an angry father telling his child to sit down and shut up. God. <laughs> Poor kid can't even sit properly. Like, All right. Hey, Dad, can I go out and have fun? No! Dad, I'm bleeding. Sit down and shut up. No bleeding God. in this house. <laughs> Unless it's given by me. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, <laughs> We're only like halfway done. <laughs> it's like the Uncle Ruckus story. <laughs> Uncle Ruckus is dead. Did I just see you having fun? Ah, <laughs> uh, call back to best cartoon, best adult animated cartoon. Oh my god, that episode had me in tears. <laughs> every oh, every episode, seasons one through oh, three was good. Yeah. Okay, uh, next matchup. Can February, March, no, but April, May. Boo. Against Dad, uh, can you put my shoes on? No, I don't think they'll fit me. <laughs> See, this is this is a good cross between Carl and Barry because it's not angry per se. It's the same setup as angry dads, but this is like a Carl thing. Like, oh, but they won't fit, son. And then the kid rolls his eyes, and Carl and Barry slaps his knee, and then. Realizes he can't balance on one foot because because of his diabetes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where was this going? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go though. I hate the April, March, May, April, whatever. It's I'm not definitely funny. going. Dad, can you put my shoes? <laughs> yeah, on? the shoes one for me too. I hate that February, March, April, May one. Stupid. My God, all right. Someone's I'm angry dad now. <laughs> all right, next up. How do you pick up a porcupine? Very carefully. Against what do you call a blind dinosaur? Or do you think he saw us? <laughs> well, there's a clear winner here, but I do. <laughs> if we have a, third, a fourth persona, it's just the one that's just advice made to sound like a joke. That's just Bill. That so, just sounds like something Bill would say. Like it's very much Bill. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm a sucker for dinosaur jokes, no matter what they are. 
<laughs> Did you think they saw us? <laughs> Did you think they saw us? All right, almost done with our sweet 16. I hate when people say age is a number. It's clearly a word. Against what did the grape say when he gets stepped on? Nothing. He just let out a little wine. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going I, grape. Yeah, I like the grape no, one. Oh, I love the other one. The other one's cool, I guess. <laughs> Clearly not. You could tell you could tell it's kind of like a dad who's frustrated as well. He's like, come on, it's I'm not old. He just in a number, it's a word. <laughs> I'm making a joke out of it. Evidently he's heard people say that like to him multiple times, every week or something. It must be an old coworker or something. Just talking his ear off about how age is just a number as he wears skinny jeans and listens. Are we coming to up with a universe of different dads? Yeah. The dad verse. Yeah, this is the this is the dad cinematic universe. <laughs> this is the dad verse episode. The real DCU. Oh, where's Tom? <laughs> where's Tom? We got daddies all over this place. Yes. <laughs> this is a perfect episode. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, last matchup, Sweet Sixteen. Uh, Dad, I've been having a lot of dreams about Tom Jones lately. Is that normal? Well, it's not unusual. And I just realized I've been reading it wrong though those two times. <laughs> Fuck. All right. I'll I'll try it again. I'll try and read it the right way. The dad says, I've been having a lot of dreams about Tom Jones lately. And the kid says, Is that normal? And the dad says, It's not unusual. I think both deliveries are good. Both deliveries are about the same. So let's uh... go. For it. Because yeah. obviously, don't trust Adams is a winner. Yeah, don't trust Adams. They make up everything. That's my vote as well. Mm. <laughs> mm. All right, we've got <laughs> hell of an elite eight here. Did anyone come up with a uh, a prediction before we started as to what they think might win? No, mm -mm. I I went into this almost blind. Because uh, you got you just got to hear a dad joke blind. I think you do. It hits it hits different. It just hit different. All right, round three. Dad, can me and my friends have a sleepover? Yeah, they can sleep over at their house. <laughs> it's still here. Against <laughs> so bitter. <laughs> I didn't have sleepovers as a kid. Exactly. Yeah, they can sleep over at their house. I still don't even know why you're here. <laughs> I can barely afford to feed you. Now we've got to get pizzas for these kids. Oh, oh man, they can have a pizza my foot. Up the ass. Pizza of my foot. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Abusive dad is now abusing other people's kids. <laughs> Could you imagine if Super Mario and Peach finally had a kid together and it turns out Super Mario is just an angry, resentful dad? <laughs> have a pizza of my foot. <laughs> uh, you can have a piece of my foot. Hop on your ass. <laughs> it's me, a daddy o. <laughs> He like starts crying immediately. <laughs> All right, that goes up against the. Do I enjoy courthouse puns? Guilty. <laughs> Guilty. I tried holding it in. I saw it coming, and it still got me to laugh. So I'm gonna go with courthouse. Is this the end of abusive dad? <laughs> <laughs> It'll live forever in our memory. Have we reached the end. Look, we abusive dad can only and... carry you so much, but the, abusive dad might end up in a courthouse. Dad has gone to therapy and is seeking help. <laughs> or he ends up in a courthouse. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, oh, no, he's an abusive dad. He so belongs he in a courthouse the... at that jail. And he's in a courthouse. It's still abusive dad. Carl still lives on doing his crazy old shit. No, no, no. He ends up in prison. Fuck him. I'll give a vote to the uh, abusive dad who doesn't allow sleepovers. We know somebody who's an abusive dad sympathizer over here. ABDS? That's me. Or ADS. <laughs> All right. Next matchup. What did the drummer name his two daughters? Anna one, Anna two. Uh, against the concert that costs 45 cents with 50 cent featuring Nickelback. What a what a terrible combination, by the way, for it's a, a concert. One. 
Could you imagine being a fan of either of those and having the other one perform at that concert? That's a very weird mashup. Just doesn't it doesn't seem like a good uh, mismatch. It's a mismatch. That's like a Super Bowl matchup. <laughs> and today's Super Bowl ma- halftime show, Fifty Cent featuring Nickelback. Nobody and then Fifty Cent to has to rap to, to photograph. <laughs> uh, that makes it must see tv you're gonna get high ratings for that shit really if they are. literally did a crossover and nickelback was playing like in the club or something but a rock version of that not bad not and, bad uh, that chad up. kroger sang with nickelback they didn't rap it they just both sang it in this candy shop <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't be bad. I, it would be uh, terrible. <laughs> it would be awful and funny as hell. I'm, uh, but I gotta go with the drummer. Yeah. I'll give a little love to this one. We came up with a whole scenario for it. You know, that's a, that's a break it up thing. <laughs> All right, next matchup. Dad, can you put my shoes on? No, I don't think they'll fit me. Oh. What do you call a blind dinosaur? Or do you think he saw us? Is this the? Is this where I put an end to the dinosaur joke? No. <laughs> no, I'm gonna vote dinosaur. I don't think so. I'm gonna vote against it. I, I like the. <laughs> no, they don't fit, son. Uh, and then next up, what did the grape say when he gets stepped on? Nothing. Just let out a little wine. Again, don't trust Adams. They make up everything. Adams for you. <laughs> Adams for sure. Yeah, Adams uh, for sure. as well. All right. I think Adams has had a, a pretty easy walk to the, the final four here. Well, maybe He's got not a tough a- match up next. All right, but before Adams, we've got, do I enjoy courthouse puns? <laughs> Guilty. Against what the drummer name, his two daughters, Anna one and Anna two. I, I don't know if I could vote against the courthouse pun. Mm. <laughs> Dynasty. Okay, you got it. Okay, you have to read them again, but you have to deliver it right. Okay. Do I enjoy courthouse puns? Guilty. <laughs> what did the drummer name his two daughters? Anna one, Anna two. <laughs> okay, I get my vote. <laughs> I'm, I'm still going courthouse puns, but I don't think it's going to win here. Oh, yeah, and a one and a two. Oh, man. I like both of these so much. I wish this was our finals. <clears throat> I think this is technically our finals. Mm, could be. Um, man, I think I'm going with the courthouse puns. <laughs> oh, <Dirty. man. laughs> oh, you I can even ma- say, you can say guilty in so many different ways, and, yeah, and the joke still reads so well. It's still funny. Yeah. Versatile joke. All right, at the bottom half of our final four, what do you call a blind dinosaur? Or do you think he saw us? Against don't trust Adams, they make up everything. This is tough, though, too. That's tough. This is a really tough finals. No, I think the top half of the, the bracket was, was tougher and better. Oh, man. And there's you a gotta lot read of them again. You got to deliver <laughs> right. them again because I right. hear it. What do you call a blind dinosaur? Do you think he saw us? <laughs> Don't trust Adams. They make up everything. Shit, it's still, <laughs> it's still tough. Well, I wrote the the blind dinosaur one, so I'm just being biased at this point. I'm going off of bias now. Well, then I'm going to do the one I wrote, and it's the Adams yeah, that one. That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> so make Andy pick. Mr. Right. Well, I have well, already said I, I really can't go against a dinosaur Jurassic Park. <laughs> I like the Adams one a lot, and it deserves its place, but not anymore. He's <laughs> done now. Get those lying Adams out of here. <laughs> All right. And then finally, do I enjoy courthouse puns? Guilty. What do you call a blind dinosaur? Do you think he saw us? <laughs> In the courthouse one's so good. I can just the way you deliver it. <laughs> it's like, could you imagine just like a serious conversation? Like they're talking about 
like the Bill Cosby case, and somebody's like, "Do I like courthouse puns?" <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> Never no, could you imagine being a defendant? Head. Yeah, could you imagine being a defendant and then like you're not taking this uh, proceeding seriously, and the judge is like, uh, "Do you do you think this is a joke, young man? Do I enjoy co- courthouse jokes?" Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> he, he like grabs like a small gavel he brought in his briefcase. <laughs> Guilty. Okay, you can do a lot more with the courthouse joke. So, so yeah, I'm gonna have to call the courthouse joke. That's the best joke. That's the better joke. I agree. So there's also um, the follow up to the blind dinosaur one is what do you call a blind dinosaur's dog? Or do what? you think he saw us Rex? <laughs> I didn't even think of that. What the fuck? But if we're talking about an individual joke versus an individual joke. No, I agree. I'm just saying that there is a follow-up. But I'm still going. I'm going courthouse all day. I courthouse still. Yeah, I think I'll go to the courthouse too. But (laughs) I'll go into the courthouse, baby. We're not guilty here at Bracket Up. (laughs) The only thing we're guilty of is coming up with a great podcast. Wait a second. What? What was that? Okay. I was going to say, did the courthouse puns uh, bunger its way through? It did not. (laughs) Not quite. Thankfully, it didn't bunger its way through. (laughs) We've only had two bungers. It's the bunger and uh, something else recently. I think it was the Scooby Project. Yes. Yes. Yeah, the Scooby Project was a bunger. I guess I'm, I'm a little surprised that the courthouse puns ended up winning. It's once a funny it, joke. Once it, it was like right. be delivered in so many ways. I know. I thought I thought it might have lost a little bit earlier, but I'm kind of glad it didn't. Well, what one did you think was going? It sounded like you might have had a favorite here, Jerick. Um, you know, my dumbass really liked the brown and sticky a stick. <laughs> <joke>. <laughs> I I enjoyed that a lot. Didn't get much love, but that's okay. It was good, but it was up against uh, the eye rolls. Yeah. Oh, God. I love that one. <laughs> Actually, I did think the uh, abusive dad not letting kids sleep over at his house would have went farther. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely thought that that would go too, but it didn't. But that ran against courthouse. <sighs> so, wait, you wrote that one, right, Jarek? Um, I don't even remember what I put in the bracket. <laughs> I don't think I wrote. I actually wrote any of these. I just well, you put them in. Those yeah, hear. I know I did the sticky one. I did the sticky one too on mine. And I don't even remember what else. <laughs> so stupid. So are so we going to be it. telling these to everybody we know today and texting them to random people? And I already have a list of people that I'm going to be telling this stuff oh, to. Oh, good, 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 good. You got the courthouse pun one. You gotta, you gotta find a good opportunity for. But uh, there's some on here you could just pull out of, out of nowhere, and it'll work. Like you could just be like, "Hey, I got a joke for you. What did the drummer name his two daughters? Anna one, Anna two. Nah, <laughs> and then everyone looks at you angrily, and you you slap your knee and chuckle a little. Oh, I just thought of a dad joke just now. Everybody's familiar with Ja Rule, right? Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> Oh, what detective, from that, yeah. Yeah, what did Detective Ja Rule say when he saw the dead body? What? It's murder. <laughs> <laughs> I get you. That's something. All right. You have to be a bigger Ja Rule fan, I guess. Uh, also, what dad is telling that joke to their kid? Hey, kid, you a fan of Ja Rule? What's a job rule? <laughs> Shut up! Abusive dad tries to connect his with his son over a job rule. We went some dark places with dad jokes today. We did. This was supposed to be super lighthearted and fun, and it was at times. <laughs> and then there were other times where we were talking about smacking around children. Hey, look, no one here. Uh, thinks that's actually funny 
Well, no, of course not. But wait for that episode uh, when we discuss which bracket up member is most likely to fight a child. <laughs> well, this episode proves that some of us might. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Julian. Uh, what? <laughs> Andy, I was pointing at you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I did what? make fun of diabetes. Just saying. <laughs> no one here was safe from being canceled. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I think we, we can wrap this bad boy up. Uh, so the very best dad joke that we determined was, do I enjoy courthouse puns? Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Always good for, for a chuckle. A lot of other good ones here. So if you're a dad, you know a dad, you're going to be a dad soon. You don't know your dad yet because she's late. It doesn't matter, guys. You've got a oh, no. whole list of stuff here uh, to work on and to learn once you become a father. Uh, for... I'll say for, for Bill, Bill White, blah, 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 for Billy White Shoes Johnson, who was in there for a little bit uh, and came up with a lot of these good jokes for the Giggle King, Julian Griffin, and for Andy, the, the man with the best name in the whole wide world, Mysuck. I'm Handy Dandy Andy Jarek. We will see you next week on Bracket Up. <laughs>